friends. I'm so glad you're here today on another Tuesday with me. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how I managed to wrestle the mounds and mounds of fabric that I had and how I chose to store it in my little closet over there. Do you want to see? Well, you have to stick around. I'm Nye with Ellie and Matt. Let's go have a look. So before we go in here, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about some considerations I made before I decided how I wanted to store my fabric. I went to several different stores. I went to Lowe's, uh, I went to Walmart, and I checked out places like Wayfair and Overstock.com. What I ended up doing is I settled with something that I purchased at Walmart because it kind of met the criteria that I needed to store my fabric in a way where it was easily accessible, I could see it, I could separate my fabric, and I could enlarge the sections depending on how much of that particular fabric I had. I did not choose to go with our cubbies. I know cubbies are really popular in the sewing field. Now, I didn't go with cubbies because I don't know if you remember, but I had cubbies last time and they worked for the time that I had them. Listen, I've told you before, <laughs> when I need to sew something, I want to be able to go in and see everything that I have and know where it came from. So a lot of times having the cubbies was a little bit difficult for me because I didn't have enough space for the cubbies that I would have needed to have all the fabric categorized the way I wanted to. I also chose not to go with a bookshelf, which was going to be my second bet. I didn't go with a bookshelf because sometimes you end up with a large quantity of sweater knits. And I don't know if you know this, I'm sure you do. <laughs> sweater knits are bulky, but I'm going to show you my uh, fabric storage and I hope maybe it gives you some ideas too. Okay, let's go again. In here though. Hi, you made it. I keep all of my wovens hung up. I like them to not be wrinkled when I want to work with them because nobody likes to iron excessively. I also have some non-customs and some Ankara here hanging to keep them wrinkle free. I have all of my panels up on a shelf and I keep a couple of baskets with random tools and interfacing. Down on the bottom, I have a tiny bookshelf where I keep all of my scraps. I roll them up real tight and put elastics on both ends to keep them nice and neat. My cat also likes this bookshelf. I have several shelves of custom fabrics. I have my Minky down on the bottom with my Wonderground Cotton Lycra. And as you move up the shelf, you'll find more customs, lots and lots of customs. I used to have a shop and I don't really use the customs anymore because they're all for kids clothes, but I can't part with them. Now you'll see my style Magnolia on the very top shelf. I keep them here so that I can see all of them because I just love them. And this is my Millie May collection. This is where I keep my Millie May fabrics. I just love them so much that I want them where I can see them. Then you'll see that I have some random fabrics there on the bottom. I really love these metal shelves. They have worked out wonders in keeping my fabric nice and neat. I also have a tiny little DIY here from the dollar store. I spent a dollar on foam boards, glued them together in order to use them to separate my fabrics. I know that they make wire separators, but I really didn't want to spend the money on those. So I made my own and I think they came out pretty dope. They keep all my fabrics from sliding over all over my shelves. I'm a pretty happy girl right now, y'all. And I'm glad you came to see my closet. Yay! Okay, I hope that was fun. It was fun for me. Now you can see how I store all of my fabric. The wire shelf that I got from Walmart is called the Hyper Tough. It's 72 inches tall and has five shelves. It can carry 3,000 pounds. So that was a no brainer for me because I know that I can add as much fabric as I like and it's not gonna get too tired to carry it for me. Now I know that you saw that I had a bookshelf in there. Yes, I did. I went ahead and I got a bookshelf just so that I could have my scraps 
some place where I could see all of them. I also got rid of a ton of fabric. I got rid of a ton of wovens. I got rid of a ton of scraps before I even moved into this house. I think that was the key to kind of consolidating everything that I owned into one space. The Hyper Tough shelf also comes in three tiers. The three tier shelf is $22, just like the bookshelf that I had in there. I'll probably replace that bookshelf with a three tier shelf because I like that I can see through the racks. You can't do that with a bookshelf. You can't do that with a cubby. You can't see all the way through to everything. So I really, really am a fan of the wire shelves. Also, the three tier shelf can hold 750 pounds while the bookshelf can only carry 120. Same price. Bookshelf 120 pounds, wire shelf 750 pounds. I could lay on that thing. I mean, like, I'm not trying to lay on that thing. I'm, I digress. <laughs> One thing about the Hyper Tough Rack that I really like is that it comes in silver, it comes in white, and it comes in black. You can also get several different types of accessories. You can get hooks, baskets, they're magnetic, so you can put magnets on there if you need to. I can just put labels on there so I know what kind of belongs to who, when I got it, because sometimes let's be real, you have to keep track of where you got it, where you got it, who you got it from. <laughs> time today I had a really fun time going through my little closet it was not fun putting all that stuff on those shelves categorizing that or none of that I am not gonna lie to you about that because we're friends right we're friends we've been hanging out for a while I would not lie to you about that I did not enjoy that not even a little bit the cool thing I did enjoy was that my cat came and hung out with me the whole time and he really likes the bookshelf so I'm gonna let him have a little spot there on the bottom just for him I hope you learned something this week that you could use. If you like the videos that I make, please go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to. I would love to see you every week because I'm here every Tuesday just for you. I hope that you enjoy your Tuesday. I hope that you have a glorious week and I hope that you will sell the thing. Yes. Also, check out my eyebrows. They look dope this week. <laughs> Bye.